Um, it didn't, you know, and so what are some considerations and things to think about if you're going to start growing your own food? Um, and, and where's, where's some lines? Like if I'm going to try to grow food for my whole family versus just have some additional good quality food for me on my plate each night. Yeah, I think, um, a good starting point is always what climate zone do you live in? Right. Yeah. So if you have an, this, uh, dream of, you know, avocados, right. Um, and you're going to grow them and you're going to have as many avocados per day because it's a superfood and it's awesome. And you can eat it 24 seven, which I can, um, you really have to start with climate zone, right? And this is old school farmer's almanac type stuff where you go, all right, where do I live? Uh, and what am I going to have the highest success rate of growing that actually benefits my health? And so that's going to get, that's going to narrow the list really quick. So that's where I would start is the research and also talking to local farmers, going to some of your farmer markets um, and talking to everybody selling uh, any of the vegetables and fruits they have going there and getting educated is like the biggest number one step so that you get, you know, so that you increase your, uh, your, your success. Um, next, once you figure out what that is, uh, it's a good idea to start indoors, right? You can set up a basic lighting bank and get the seeds, the kickstart they need with a little bit of soil. And once they actually start to grow and you actually see them break the surface of the little pods that you put them in, then you can, you know, basically put them outside using just common language. You're taking something that started growing and you're going to transplant it to outdoors. And it's a very fragile moment, but it'll be fine. Making sure the soil outside matches the soil that they're in. And then now they're outside in sunlight and on their own. And you're going to have to obviously give some care and maintenance. You're going to have to do research on pest control, any of the other predators that might want to nibble on whatever it is you're growing and basically put up whatever fortifications you need, which a lot of times is just chicken wire over your garden. We'll keep out the birds and any of those little uh, ground animals that like rabbits that want to come in and get a free meal. So um, but I think the biggest piece is really doing the research and determine what's going to give you, you know, that, that highest level of success in the area in which you live. And you really got to pinpoint it, you know, especially like where I'm at, in Texas, you know, North Texas is far different than South Texas. And yeah. what you can grow in one, you can't grow in the other, even though you're in the same state. 